So the markets are in a pretty gosh darn bad state. You've probably noticed the current crash is actually one of the worst crashes that the crypto market has ever seen. Definitely the worst since 2018. And in many ways, it's even worse than that crash. Everything's bigger, more complex, more volatile. At the same time, we have this complete meltdown of the global equity markets. We have inflation soaring. The property market's on the verge of a complete meltdown and really just nowhere for investors to hide. You go into cash, you deal with inflation, you get into any kind of assets, you're looking at downside. So in today's video, I wanna dive into this situation and share my plan on how I am approaching investing in this highly volatile market at the moment. My name's Lark. I make videos talking about investing. If you do like that topic, then please subscribe to the channel. And also, of course, just leave a gentle little tap on the thumbs up button to show that you do appreciate this kind of content. By the way, if you are a cryptocurrency trader, then you need to get yourself an account over on Bybit. You can trade their very hot spot markets with all kinds of fun coins. You can trade their wildly popular futures markets, longing the bounces, shorting the dumps. Probably one of the better ways to make money in the market right now for all the top coins, Bitcoin, Ethereum, you got it. And you can, of course, get into hot token sales like walk-in, which is happening in a few days. Use the link down below. You'll get $100 free on sign-up to use for a trade, 30% off of your fees, and a further $4,100 in deposit bonuses. First link in the description. Okay, now I want to give you a brief overview of our current situation that we see happening in the markets. Before I share my plan for in investing and really not just surviving, but actually trying to thrive during this difficult market period. Anyway, let's, let's talk about the crypto chaos first. The bad news for crypto, of course, as we all know, really started to kick off the acceleration of the Dow market with the collapse of Terra and the collapse of UST. This was our first major shock of the bear market, our first major thing breaking with $60 billion in value erased almost overnight. Then we got the terrible news that Celsius, one of the biggest lenders in the cryptocurrency space, was halting withdrawals, leading to a crisis of confidence and, of course, fears that they could be insolvent, potentially erasing billions of dollars of investor money. Fingers crossed that that's not going to be the case. We also just had news come in that one of the biggest cryptocurrency venture capital funds, Three Arrows Capital, could be about to go under as reports of them getting margin called are starting to roll in. Again, billions of dollars in value potentially wiped out. Basically just things going from bad to worse. Then we get news about what's happening in the industry on a broader scope with lots of layoffs happening across the cryptocurrency space. Crypto.com is doing layoffs. BlockFi is doing layoffs. Coinbase is doing layoffs. Finance is hiring those, so that, that's cool. Now that moves us, of course, on to the macro scene where we do see even more layoffs starting to happen. We have big tech companies, which already laid off 35,000 people. Loads of other layoffs are coming. Lots of other companies are going to start laying off people as the economies uh, slow down, as the recession sets in. And look, the recession is coming. Two thirds of economists say that the USA is about to enter a recession. We have inflation continuing to rage out of control. And of course, the 10-year and the two-year bond yields have just inverted, which has come before every recession ever, basically meaning that a recession is imminent. The only question becomes, how long is that recession going to last for and how bad is that recession going to be? But it's coming. Anyway, the markets are cooked, equity markets are cooked, real estate markets are cooked, crypto markets are definitely cooked. So what do we do now? Well, here is my plan to not just get through the market, but to thrive during the bear market. First is to hold a strong cash position. Look, after surviving 2018, the 2020 crash as well, I learned that cash is key to survival in this market. I sleep better at night knowing that I've got a good war chest of cash means my bills are going to be paid for a very long time. It means that I have money to take advantage of deals. It means that I have options. Every investor should have a decent cash position. When we say like three to six months cash on hand, your emergency fund, right? 
And if you're lacking a cash position, well, now's maybe the time to focus on building one. The second thing is to keep focused on income generation. This is especially key right now. Obviously important anytime, but during a bear market, you gotta keep the income coming through the door. You do not want to be forced to have to sell off your assets at a big loss. You wanna have that cash to live on, right? For me personally, that means keep showing up to work, keep making my newsletter the best that it can be, keep making my website the best that it can be and delivering value here for you on YouTube. And of course, continuing to invest in those sweet, sweet dividend stocks. You gotta love dividend stocks, man. Getting paid out all the time, I love it. Keeping cash coming through the door is key. Having multiple ways for that to happen, very important. I know bear markets suck, but don't stop hustling. There is money to be made. The third thing I'll keep focused on, of course, is investing. And it might seem obvious, but I am sticking to my plan. The bear market is not changing that dramatically. I'm gonna keep buying Bitcoin. I'm gonna keep dollar cost averaging in. In fact, doing so now is pretty gosh darn pleasurable. I keep looking for ways to beat the market as well. Upcoming token sales and NFT drops and stuff like that, those still make money. But you need to understand, it's an important thing before you get too pessimistic on the markets. Bear markets make millionaires. Without a doubt, my biggest gains during the bull market came from getting in early on coins, the coins that I accumulated during the bear market, then of course taking profits on those coins on the way up. You gotta take profits. The crazy thing with human psychology though is that it's really your brain is your worst enemy when it comes to this. Inherently, we all know the truth. You need to buy low and then you need to sell high, right? Most investors do the opposite. They buy high and then they sell low, or maybe they do buy low, but they never sell. You gotta sell at some point. Guess what? Here's the good news for you. You're being given a second chance right now to buy all those coins that you wish you'd bought at bargain basement prices. They're there again. Some people will take advantage of that. I'm gonna take advantage of that. I'm gonna keep averaging into top coins throughout the bear market. I'm a long-term investor, and I mean it when I say I'm a long-term investor. I will still be here when Bitcoin hits a million dollars. However long that takes, I'm gonna be here. The fourth thing I will do is to keep focused on a strong, diversified portfolio. I don't talk about it a lot here, but you know, do let me know in the comment section if this is something you'd like to see me talk about more in the future. Anyway. I've got a pretty big stock portfolio. I own a nice pile of metals. Uh, I'm hoping to buy my first rental property soon as the you know real estate meltdown continues to happen. All that's very exciting. Of course, big strong cash position as well. But one thing I've learned over the years is that crypto is insane. It's wildly volatile. We've just erased all the bull market gains just like that. I'm not keen on having all of my investment eggs in this one crypto basket. Yes, crypto is my biggest investment, but guess what? I'm gonna keep moving funds and other investments as well. Keep buying stocks, keep buying metals, right? Invest in properties, keep strong cash, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. One thing is important here to realize too is that I will keep my risk profile a lot tighter with investing during the bear market. We've seen the Terra thing happen. We've seen the Celsius thing happen. Shit's breaking. The bear market is in full rampage mode right now and the weak links are being broken. The Terra collapse was rough for me personally. I lost six figures in that. It, ouch, right? Could have bought a lot of dividend stocks with all that money. Damn. Until the dust settles in crypto, I am playing it super, super conservatively. I'm averaging into the top coins, staying out of lending, staying out of DeFi. The time for that later. Keeping it consistent but kind of keeping it boring too. And the fifth thing to keep me sane during the bear market blues is to focus more on me, personally. I've seriously been neglecting my health during the bull market. That absolutely needs to change. My uh, Russian language skills have basically gone to shit. I need to fix that as well. The reality of the current market is that not a lot is going to be happening for a while. Once this whole initial pulling off the Band-Aid terror phase kind of ends, then things get really boring, unfortunately. And that is almost harder to deal with than the whole like, oh my God, the markets are crashing terror phase. Surviving the nothing is happening phase. It's tough. At least there's an emotional response when you get the markets crashing and everyone's freaking out. 
when there's nothing happening, it's just, ugh. <laughs> anyway, there's a lot of risk in the markets right now, so be careful. But I plan on sticking to my plan, consistently investing, consistently diversifying, and yes, staying here, creating content for you throughout the bear market, looking for ways that we can beat the market. Anyway, enough about me. What is your plan to survive the bear market? What are you doing to keep sane while all of this crazy shit is happening in crypto? Let me know down below in the comment section. Thanks so much for watching today's video and peace out till next time.